everybody how is it going it's crucif and i'm back with another obs tutorial video the last one was kind of short didn't explain a lot this video is going to be a sort of settings guide what you should have your settings at the optimal settings for a lagless stream it's also going to have some troubleshooting guides mixed in how to fix certain problems etc let's get started by doing this Find your OBS Studio icon, right click it and run it in administrator mode. This is going to fix about 70% of the problems you have with OBS. Namely, it will fix black screen. If you've ever launched OBS and a game wouldn't capture, you're getting a black screen, or your display wouldn't capture, you're getting a black screen, this will fix it. It's because you're not running in administrator mode. This will fix all of those problems. But now let's go from that into what settings you should use in OBS to have the least amount of lag possible. Let's go through it. These are just placeholders, by the way. I have this set because all of my shit's fucked up right now and I don't have any of my overlays because as you can see, new operating system, etc., etc. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is go to settings. I'm going to teach you guys how to set up the optimal settings. First thing you're gonna have to go to a stream. Make sure, of course, the service is Twitch. Uh, uh, the service is the service that you're using to stream. If you're streaming on Twitch, this needs to be Twitch. If you're streaming on YouTube, this needs to be YouTube. If you grow school, actually, you got unbanned, didn't he? If your eyes beside YouTube, Hitbox, you've got da Daily Motion has streaming. What the fuck? You can even stream to Facebook. Look at that. That's nice. Make sure the server is set to the server that is nearest to you. I live in Wales in the UK. The only other server in uh, in the UK appears to be London. So that's the closest to me. I guess if you live in Australia, you're absolutely fucked. Unless you live in Sydney. So just pick the nearest one to you. If you don't, you're going to have a laggy stream if you're even able to stream next we're going to go to output make sure output mode is set to advanced <coughs> okay just choked on coke i just choked on coke okay forget that make sure output mode is set to advanced otherwise you won't see this stuff now this is the first thing that i like to do um this was in the last tutorial i did make sure the encoder is nvenc basically what you're doing by selecting this instead of x264 is instead of using your cpu to encode you're using your graphics card now you'll only be able to use the setting if you have an nvidia graphics card if you have an nvidia graphics card and you still don't see the setting you either need to update your drivers, okay, or your graphics card is old or for some reason doesn't support it, okay? However, X264 encoder will give you a better quality stream. Not by much, but it will be a better quality. So if you have a CPU that is a good CPU or you have a fairly new CPU, a high-end CPU, that's better than your graphics card. I'd 100% recommend you just go with the X264. However, my CPU is horseshit and really old. So I use my graphics card to, to encode, okay? That's like, hey, look, it's a rhyme. You can remember. My CPU is shit and really old, so I use my graphics card to encode. That's nice and easy to remember. I'm going to kill myself tonight. Make sure rate control is set to CBR. You can really have this to set to anyone. Lossless would be the highest quality. I choose CPR. That's what works for me. I'm sure some people prefer lossless. C, actually, nobody's going to want CQP. Maybe VBR, loss, whatever the fuck. Just, just fucking do what you want to do, okay? Go to bitrate. Now, if you're streaming on Twitch, which is what most people stream to, uh, possibly you'll be streaming to YouTube, maybe? But with Twitch, there is a limit to how much bitrate you can stream. The limit on Twitch is 3,500 bitrate. Yep, that is the absolute max you're allowed to stream 
on Twitch without breaking the terms of service, which really isn't a lot, actually. So, uh, yeah, I mean, let's talk about internet connection right now. So, really, unless you have a 3 megabit upload, at least, in my opinion, it's kind of pointless in your streaming because you're not going to have a good quality stream. Having a 3 megabit uh, per second upload is going to allow you to stream at 3,500 bit rate, barely, or maybe not barely. I mean, I don't, I'm not too sure on that, but you'll definitely be able to stream with a uh, an upload of 3 megabits per second. So that's my recommendation. If it's any lower than that, get better internet, you fucking pleb. What is this? The fucking 1990s. You should just go ahead and copy my preset profile level, whatever. GPU, you can keep this all the same. I'll be honest, I don't know what the fuck any of this means. I just have it set to it. It's default, it works for me. If you're using more than uh, one audio track, i.e. if you have two microphones running at once, you might want to select two. I assume that's what that means. Okay, going back to bitrate, if you're streaming on a platform like YouTube, I don't believe or I wouldn't imagine that YouTube has a cap on how much bitrate you can stream at, but like I said, I fucking, I, I do, YouTube has a, a bitrate limit of 9,000 on pre-recorded videos that you upload. So I assume it's the same with streaming. I'm assuming they'll cap you to like 9,000. Try it, try it, I don't fucking know. Go to recording tab. This is for my homies who want to record. Um, I'd recommend that you have your recording path set to an SSD. That's just gonna make your recording a lot less um, stuttery, less laggy. It's gonna be easier. Make sure recording format is MP4. If you're using any other format, you're basically a fucking scrub or Mac user, and we don't like your kind shit as hell, but you fuck off. You won't see any difference between MP4, FLV, MOV, MKV, TS, what the fuck is that even? M3, U8, just pick MP4. Be a normal fucking person, please. Audio track, whatever. Encoder, same thing as last time. If you have a shitty CPU and a really good graphics card, go with NVENC. If you have an AMD graphics card, you're gonna have to go with X264. Um, you basically just follow the same advice as I said last time. I like CBR, you can go lossless if you want. Lossless is pretty good. Lossless is a little bit higher quality than CBR, I believe, but you, let's be honest, you can't tell the fucking difference. As I said earlier, YouTube does have a limit to their, uh, pre to, to videos you upload. Um, you won't, yeah, you won't see past, I think, 9,000 bit rate. So I have it set to 10,000 just in case. Is that 10,000? How many zeros? I can't see shit. Yeah, that's 10,000. I have my bit rate set 10,000, 1,000 over what YouTube caps it at. Just, just in case, you know. Again, the rest of the shit stays preset. Audio, if you have more than one track, most people won't use this. If you're using this, you know what you're doing. Why are you watching this tutorial? Going to audio, there's no point in going over 44.1 kilohertz. No one's going to know the difference. You can if you want. It's not going to make you lag at all, but I see no point at all. Stereo, make sure it's selected. Otherwise, people are going to hear you out of one ear, and that's really annoying. Uh, other than that, everything else, just make sure that you're... I don't fucking know, dude. Like, you know this shit. I'm sure you do. Okay? I, I'm, I'll believe that you can figure that out for yourself. You can just have it selected the same I do. Okay, this is another very important tab, the video tab. Your base canvas resolution. This should be set to the resolution of your monitor. If you've got a 1080p monitor, set this to 1080p. If you've got a 2K monitor, send it, set it to 2K. If you've got a 4K monitor, set it to 4K, okay? Output is what you're going to be streaming it at. You'd think that streaming, this is basically the resolution you're streaming or recording at, okay? Um, I record at 1080p for YouTube videos. I stream at 720p, 60 FPS, 
I upload to YouTube in 1080p 60 FPS, okay? Now, I would never stream at 1080p 60 FPS because the stream would look garbage. Because of the cap that Twitch has on the amount of bitrate you can stream at, which is 3,500, if you streamed with a bitrate of 3,500 at 1080p, it's going to be incredibly pixelated and low quality looking. A person with a 720p stream at 60 fps with a bit rate of 3500 is going to look better than a person who has 1080p 60, 60 fps 3500 bit rate i know that sounds ridiculous but it's true basically it's um if it's at 720p it's got more it's i, I don't know how to fucking explain it just listen to me Use 720p. The only time that I'd wreck it, plus, besides, anybody watching you might lag, okay? This is a pretty high quality. Not a lot of people can manage it. A lot of people are scrub plebs who, who don't have good internet like us, like you and me. So best just, just, just do it this way. Anyway, the only time you'd really set it to 1080p is if you were a Twitch partner. And if you are a Twitch partner, it's still going to look like shit, okay? So the only way I would recommend you have it at 1080p is if you have a dedicated streaming PC along with a gaming PC that you hook up together, okay? And then you use the streaming PC with a fucking insane good CPU to do all the encoding for you, okay? A dedicated encoder. And then the stream will look really fucking good, okay? But uh, it wouldn't look good if you weren't a Twitch partner because you're... Oh, it wouldn't be good because your viewers wouldn't be able to watch your stream, right? Because they can't lower the quality. Or Did I mention it's 4.40 a.m.? It's 4.40 a.m. and I'm making a fucking tutorial. Anyway, I choose 720p 60 FPS lands because whatever the fuck that means. It's the highest quality. I'd go with this. It's noticeable to uh, bil Bilinear and Bicubic. Everything else is basically standard process priority. Make sure that's set to high. You can copy everything else I have on here. Pause and copy it. I think we're done here. Now, the last thing we're going to move on to, then we're done. I'm going to end the video is audio. What you're hearing right now, as you can see, I don't have Audacity up or any third party software. I don't have any hardware that I'm using that will improve my mic quality. The only thing I have is a mixer, and that doesn't improve my mic quality. Now, of course, I do have a very expensive mic, and that doesn't hurt. But everything you're hearing, all the post-process stuff you're hearing right now, is being done live right now. So if you're watching my stream, I would sound like this. And I don't have any external hardware, like I mentioned. I don't have any other applications running. This is all being done live through OBS. So you can sound like this too, or at least kind of like this. You won't sound exactly like this unless you have a good microphone. Um, let's get started. Now I have, it's very simple. I have a noise gate and I have a compressor. Let me explain what a noise gate is. Um, it's hard for me to explain. Did I mention it's 4.40 a.m.? Anyway, a noise gate basically will cancel out any background noise. It will, uh, anything under a certain decibel that you choose will not show up in audio. Does that make sense? Anyway, fuck it. You get what I mean. Um, basically turn this on, use these settings if you want, and then background noise won't be shared, okay? I use a compressor. It will sort of level my vocals. So if I talk really quietly like this, and then if I talk really loud like this, you won't notice any rise. My microphone won't be peaking. It'll sort of stay at the same level. You'll know that I'm shouting, but it will, it won't, you know, like fucking, it won't fuck up your ears, your ears. It won't fuck up your ears, and it won't. Uh, it won't. 
you, you know what I fucking mean, okay? It's just, it's 4 a.m. It's nearly 5. It's, there's light shining through right now. I stayed up all night to make this view. Why are you going to be so fucking ungrateful? Okay, now I'm going to show you another filter. You might be able to, or you might use this. I don't need to use this because I have a studio set up. Not everyone else is going to be lonely enough um, uh, to buy like hundreds, thousands of pounds worth of studio equipment like me. Um, but I'm a virgin, so you can use uh, noise suppression. So if you have any hissing in the background, if you have a fan going in the background, honestly, this is a little bit like noise gate. It will limit some of the noise in the background. That's not your voice, okay? So even while you're talking like this, um, it should get rid of some of the noise in the background. That might be handy for you if you have um, a headset. Let me turn off my uh, fan. If you have a headset with not a really good mic or you just generally don't have a very good mic, um, that will come in very handy for you. And you too can have incredibly professional audio. Now, I would highly recommend you guys really focus on your audio uh, because in most situations, having really good audio is much better than having good video. I don't know about you guys, but if I click on a stream and the streaming can have the most gorgeous visuals, the most beautiful, uh, high quality stream. But if he talks or she talks and her microphone is just horrible, screechy noisy bad echoey it's the worst i don't want to watch it however if someone has a stream and the quality is not too good visually uh but the microphone is absolutely gorgeous and it's really nice to listen to chances are more people are going to hang around so i'd advise you to he heavily invest and invest a lot more in audio equipment rather than making your stream better quality Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm thinking of doing another video, giving you guys recommendations on hardware, microphones, mixers, headsets to use to help you get into streaming, webcams, things like that. Let me know if that's something you're interested in by leaving a comment in the comment section. I'm not gonna tell you to subscribe. You're smart enough to do that yourself. I'm not gonna tell you to like. Oh.